Monsters and Memories is an upcoming MMORPG that wants to be the new old school MMO with a new world to play and made with the intent of capturing the spirit of classics like EverQuest. The Monsters and Memories team has a very chunky update for the development and complemented all the information with a video showing off new zones and areas in development. Understand that Monsters and Memories isn't going for the latest cutting edge graphics but looking to be an improvement over the classics but still staying modern so that they can get the project done and released, which is respectable for a very small team with such an ambitious goal of making a massive MMORPG. So as you're watching the footage, just keep that in mind and the scope that they are going for. And let's talk about all the updates they have announced. On the tech side, they've worked on the character creation side and showed off what that will look like. Of course, the UI isn't completely in place yet, but we can get a gist of what Monsters and Memories is shooting for with the character select, which is minimal but substantial. Monsters and Memories now has random combat sounds to give battle more flavor with many different enemy types. They also added in the sounds many creatures make upon death and they mentioned skeleton sounds which we all somehow know exactly what that means for that throwback to EverQuest. They worked on weapon procs and also added in the shrink grow effects for spells. The UI window was refactored to give better performance as well. The area you are seeing here is Night Harbor which may still have quite a bit of gray boxing in, but you can certainly get the feel for this area as they have added in structures and designs that give it the feel they are going for. Areas were added to Night Harbor such as the city walls, the garrison, training yards, naval dockyards, and the keep and prison. The dungeon, the tomb of the last worm's bane, which is an awesome name by the way, got prop passes, layout additions, and small details added such as spider webs. They also put work into the glass flats area as shown here as well. Monsters and Memories also worked on some animation for the Jackal which is looking to be a polished up and complete mob. They also worked on the Beetle, Rat, and Snake although they state that the Snake Kick hasn't been added or animated just yet. Once again, a beautiful throwback to Classic EverQuest where snakes could kick you for damage, which was actually an accident not intended to be a thing, but hey. Like most mistakes in EverQuest, it's now a feature. A lot of design was worked on as well, including factions specifically in Night Harbor was mentioned, and class designs and abilities. Player content also was worked on, although they didn't go into full detail on what that could fully mean, but the team says they will provide more clarity on that with the next update. Since I first introduced many of you to Monsters and Memories not too long ago, a lot of progress has been made, but if this is your first time hearing about it, I highly recommend checking out my video, which is ranking very high for Monsters and Memories, which I will provide a link to at the end of the video. Let's hear from our sponsors real quick and then we will talk more Monsters and Memories. Real quick before we continue on with the video, I want to give a thank you to the members of Napalm. This channel is completely community sponsored and these are the brave heroes who have stepped forth to strap on their gear and sharpen their blades and are casting the spells of awesome by becoming members of the channel. With exclusive perks, sneak peeks, and more, thank you you for your support and I think you are interested in supporting the channel click join down below for a list of options and add your name to the list of knights and mages on the council of napalm and I want to give a very special thank you to the lords of napalm bounty coat Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, Farthest Reach, Not Sid, Sparrow, Carsonic, and Christopher Hensel. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Now on to the video. Monsters and Memories is the type of MMORPG that tugs and pulls at your nostalgia. But that isn't all they want out of the project. Although anyone can see that the graphics are at a much more use your imagination a bit level, what is happening under the hood and under the surface is where they want to punch hard. With intricate factions and deep and enriching classes and group gameplay that harkens to a tabletop or old school Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I will continue covering Monsters and Memories as they continue developing it and I'm looking forward to where this project goes. If it can release prior to Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, I think it has a chance at capturing our hearts and minds and a shot at the kind of success they need. Because they don't need big millions of players, they just need a substantial amount to keep the development going, keep the lights on on, much like Project Gorgon, if their team is small, they have less overhead and can provide a great
great experience for the players. Monsters and Memories is obviously a passion project being fueled by the developers' love for this old school classic MMORPG gameplay, and I'm here for it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I hope you enjoyed the video on Monsters and Memories today. In the description is the link to the official Monsters and Memories YouTube channel so you can stay in the loop on what is going on. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. The growth of the channel is detriment to its survival. And hit that like button to get this video in the faces of others who would enjoy it. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming.